Hi. My name is Chris Mann, Assistant Superintendent for Finance for Batavia Public Schools, and this is the board brief for the regular Board of Education meeting for May 28, 2013. Last night's agenda consisted of mostly business uh, uh, action items. Uh, we had a long consent agenda uh, which included bills for payment, uh, payrolls, and, and many personnel items. Uh, when we got to the action section, the action items were the uh, approval of the amendment of the 2012-2013 budget. Uh, when the budget was originally adopted in September, uh, we had projected uh, an overall surplus of $106,000. Um, the amendment has seen that increase just slightly to $120,000, uh, but both revenues and expenses did increase over uh, original projections, uh, though they did so proportionately. The final amended budget in our operating funds is $67.46 million of revenue, offset by $67.34 million of expenses, leading to that $120,000 surplus. Uh, in addition to our operating funds, we also have non-operating funds of uh, debt service and capital projects uh, which add an additional 11.2 of revenue and 11.9 of expenses, uh, but they are not really considered a measure of our solvency uh, by Illinois uh, State Board of Education. Uh, after the board approved the amended budget, we also moved into approving the insurance renewals for our uh, health and dental uh, contracts with our employees. Uh, we renewed with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois uh, with a 9% increase, slightly higher than projected. Uh, and we also received a renewal of our dental insurance contract of a 0% uh, or stable uh, premium rates, uh, which was lower than the 5% we had previously projected. The final piece of action and more impactful uh, to the immediate community was the approval of a new food service vendor for the 2013-14 school year. Quest uh, Food Management was approved by the Board of Education after uh, being the successful low bidder of our recent food service bid. We uh, were required to rebid our food service because we have a desire to expand our uh, breakfast program into each of our elementary schools, and therefore the National School Lunch Program required us to uh, rebid uh, the entire program. Uh, since that was not contained in the previous. Uh, Quest submitted a very competitive bid and they have a long track record of success in the, in the suburbs, uh, including uh, uh, many local districts uh, to our uh, east and to, to our north. Um, we are looking forward to working with Quest and meeting with school staff and, and stakeholder groups to find out how they can be as, uh, the most successful partner possible in the 2013-14 school year. So our community should look forward to communication from them uh, over the summer uh, and in the beginning months of the, of the school year. Our next Board of Education meeting is scheduled for June 25th, 2013 at 7 p.m. here at the Rosalie M. Jones Administration Center. We look forward to having you attend or you can follow along on BATV. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jack Barshier, Superintendent of Batavia Schools. During a regu the regular meeting of the Batavia School District on May 28th, the Board of Education approved a resolution authorizing a notice to remedy to a Batavia High School teacher. A notice to remedy is a written warning about a pattern of behavior issued by the school board that warns the employees of improper conduct and the consequences thereof. Much of the information that was discussed by the Board of Education in closed session is confidential and cannot be shared, but I would like rest assured that the board has reviewed the employee matter completely. The board was given all the facts, which may or may not be the same as the information you may have read in newspapers or on social media websites. However, I feel it would be appropriate to share some background information. District teachers, social workers, guidance counselors, psychologists, and other professionals worked together for over a year to select a data gathering instrument that would be used to determine what social or emotional issues our high school students are experiencing in their lives and whether individual students could benefit from new or increased supportive interventions by our staff. These purposes were shared with our parents and teachers. The issue before the board was whether one employee has the right to mischaracterize the efforts of our teachers, counselors, and social workers, and others without any justification to tell our students, in effect, that the adults are not here to help, but that they are trying to get you to incriminate yourself. Disagreement with district initiatives have happened before, and disagreements will happen again. What the board does not and will not support is any employee giving students false impressions about the motivations of those who come here every day to try to improve the lives of students and entrusted to our care. At no time was student discipline discussed or ever contemplated as a response to the disclosure made by our students. I understand that some people feel we could have done a better job explaining our goals and a better job uh, in communicating the survey to, to our parents. 
We trust we will do a better job working hand in hand with parents on these sensitive issues, and we will. The board has asked my administration to take steps in the future to increase parental awareness, transparency when gathering data, and about sensitive issues such as mental health or substance abuse issues. When a plan of action is developed, we have agreed to share those details with our community. We understand and appreciate the concerns shown by our parents, our staff members, for the welfare of our students. In all things we do, the best interests of students must and will always come first. And we thank everyone for their cooperation in that. Thank you.